Good day. Welcome to Keywords Everything. You know, sometimes you're traveling and you have your laptop, or you're in a hotel with kind of sketchy Wi-Fi, or you're on the plane and you just want to watch a movie and you really can't stream. And about the only way you're going to get to is with the DVD. And of course, most modern laptops, no DVD player. So you're going to want to rip your DVD so you can at least watch it on the plane. And that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at some software called WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. And I think you're going to like it quite a bit. Uh, sometimes you can get the free ones and then put watermarks, things like that, or you get a limited uh, try on it. But you want something that's actually that you're going to pay for and be able to use all the time. And WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, that's what we're going to look at. So let's take a look at it. So we can check out the website, winxdvd.com, and you can see here's the Winx DVD Ripper Platinum. And they do have a free trial, and I believe the trial is kind of limited to like five minutes. So it gives you kind of a test out, see if it's going to be able to copy what you want to copy. Uh, you can see DVD to MP4, DVD copy, 350 formats, GPU acceleration. And if we scroll down here, you can see 70 million users. And of course, it tells you backup DVD without quality loss, which is kind of what you want. Conquer all DVD types. You can do some simple editing. And it has some hardware acceleration, really nice. And kind of shows you the software. And what I like down here, it has a nice platinum user guide. And some like frequently asked questions here. But the guide is basically simple. You probably worth reading if you want to do some more advanced things, but I just want to copy. You can see it says step one, uh, click DVD disc, add the DVD. Step two, select output format device. And step three, hit run. It's that simple. And that's basically what I've done. I haven't really done anything. I just want to copy it off to an MP4. But you can do some, make it ISOs and things like that. Just, just as easy. And so let's give that a try now. Okay, so we have the WinX DVD Ripper Platinum open. You can see up here is disk, image, folder, clear, and options. Options basically let you pick the folder you want to save it to in your language you can clear it and you can pick the folder uh, image if you want to do an image or a disk we're just going to be copying off a disk and you can see over here on the right you have hardware acceleration intel nvidia use high quality engine dna releasing safe mode and you can which i think this is really nice you can pick how many cores of your cpu you want to use and yeah, so you have a four core cpu but if you want to use you know what do some youtubing while you're ripping your dvds you might want to just pick two cores or something like that but we're just going to do a disk and you see here's the disk, automatically detected. And it's kind of loading it in. And it gives you a whole bunch of options here. You can do different profiles. You can kind of see if you scroll down here, you can you know, device profile if you want to pick specifically what you want to like Facebook or Android phone. But we're going to just use general profiles. And you can see MP4 video, AVI video, iPhone, iPad. Uh, so you got some quick time, those kind of things, Windows Media. DVD copy, M M4V, which is kind of, I think, an Apple MPEG-4, and MOV, an Apple QuickTime format. But we're just going to do MP4 video. Say OK. And we'll just pick the main title, because that's the one we want. And click on Run. And that's it. That's all you got to do to copy your DVD. And there you go. So if you got some DVDs you need to rip just for traveling, or you just want to back it up just because, you know, you got your treasured, you know, I, Tanya from, you know, whenever, and they don't make it anymore, it's a good way to get it and put it onto a different format. So at least you can save it, watch it on other devices like your iPhones, your phones, and uh, your laptops, and your Surfaces, and your Zunes, and all your other antique devices. That's the way to go. So I hope you guys, that's you guys, have a great day.